She said, rather than being with a lazy man who doesn't want to work, who feels like, you know, I'd rather go with a man who's very hardworking. So that while he's hardworking and I'm hardworking, I would like to be a progress. Like, you see? You see how women actually feel about these things? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me and your girl. I'm super excited to have you back on my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. Do consider subscribing. Mm -hmm. You will love me. You will love me. And if you're my subscriber, I really do appreciate you coming back to accept uh, into it. So into this video, I will be sharing with you why East African women love Nigerian men. Mm -hmm. So if you're an East African person, you're watching this video, you might want to sit back and listen to this and tell me if it is true or if I'm lying, okay? And this was actually downloaded to me by my East African friends. So don't you say I'm lying. Don't you there say I'm lying. But go ahead and watch it. Tell me if you like it. East African women love Nigerian men. And I have a lot of East African women around me. Now, let me give you a little story. When I came to Dubai the first time, while I was walking, there was this new lady that was transferred to the place where I was walking. So, on the first instant when we met each other, we greeted each other, because of course we have all the nationalities. So whenever you see an African, African to African, we're sisters already, without even knowing where you're from. So we're already talking, we're already in that, you know, sisterhood kind of a mood and she's like oh sis where you from i said ah i'm from nigeria she was like oh my god you're from nigeria i'm like yes i'm from nigeria and she said oh my god i love to go to nigeria i love to meet a nigerian man oh i want to meet a nigerian man sister i need a nigerian man in my life i'm like really and believe me this time i've not even started making Nigerian, Mommy. yes, sweetie. And they go to All right, I'll take you to Nigeria. You are Nigerian, sweetie. You are Nigerian. I will take you to Nigeria, okay? okay All right. So she was like, oh, So, you know, I was like, You're making me feel like a celebrity. I'm only from Nigeria. She's like, oh, I want to date a Nigerian man. I've heard they're so good, they're so romantic, they're so these, they're so that. I'm like, Come on, girl. Who told you all this? She's like, honestly, a lot of my Ugandan ladies have told me about it, those who have dated Nigerian men even here in Dubai. I'm like, really? She said, yes, sis, yes, go on, come on. How do I get a Nigerian man? I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know where to get there, all around there walking. So, you know, that was the first time I, I, I felt the love that Eastern African women had for Nigerian men. Now, moving ahead, as time went on, I noticed, I started noticing that lots of Eastern Nigerian women, especially here in the UAE, Dubai, Sharjah, as I came, eh, they all love to date Nigerian men. And when I asked them, like when I asked, you will see others who are also dating East African men, but most of them, they love to date Nigerian men. And when I ask them why, they tell me Nigerian men, Nigerian men, that's how they call them, not Nigerian, I'm Nigerian, right? And we call ourselves Nigeria or Nigerians. But when I ask them, why do you love Nigerian men? She's like, oh, Nigerian men. Nigerian men are so caring. Ah, I'm like, really? She's like, yes. I'm like, tell me more about it. She's like, okay, sis, let me tell you. It's like, you know this thing that Nigerian men do when they're so caring, they're asking about you, checking up on you, giving you money, sometimes to take care of yourself. Although I know things have changed recently, like Nigerian men, they're not, you know, as they used to be because the world is getting harder and they're trying to, you know, reduce their spendings unlike before. In Nigeria, we go all out when it comes to spending on as woman. And they still do till today, just those who do, who do not have. If he, if he doesn't have, what do you want him to give? He will give what he has. But if you still meet a Nigerian man who is so packed and loaded, <laughs> It's still, it's still there. The, the spirit is still there. The spirit of taking care of you, giving and doing everything, the spirit lives with them. Okay? So now she was like, you know, Nigerian men are so caring. They can take care of you. They can spend for you. They can buy you what you want. They can buy you things. But, you know, our men, our men are so stingy. I'm like, really? She's like, 
have never seen men who are as stingy as East African men. She went ahead to mention even those from Zimbabwe, those from Kenya. She even said Kenyan men are so lazy, they even want to eat yours. You know, you know they shared a lot of things with me. She said, she said, you know, if um I don't want to spoil, I, I don't know. Actually, I'm not here to spoil anybody. I'm not here to spoil any nationality. She just told me that you know what? If they even know that you have money to spend, they will prefer that you be the one walking and they start blazing around and drinking. I'm like, what? Like, what? What, 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 what did you just say? A Nigerian man would never, never ever do that. A Nigerian man will not hang up his coat and leave you to start doing it. Except in circumstances where probably he's in financial situation. Aside that, he's gonna get up as fast as he can to his feet. Because he doesn't, you see, that's where I talk about that manly figure, that pride, Nigerian man pride. Because this Nigerian man pride, it's not bad at all. Some people see it like, oh, they're so controlling, they're so freaky, they're so this. It's not an all situation. In some situations, this is needed because you know pride comes with it comes with some other positive things like imagine a nigerian man is proud what he wants to be there for you he wants to take care of you he wants you to know he's the man in the relationship he wants you to know he's the father the husband of the house now this is the man i'm talking about that every woman wants Okay, so when these Eastern African women told me, you know why we love Nigerian men, we love Nigerian men because of these, because of that, I'm like, oh no, I get you, I get you. Honestly, here in the UAE, I know how they love Nigerian men. And I'm not kidding about this, they really do love Nigerian men. So, I guess this is a plus, this is a plus for Nigerian men. What's wrong with my hair? Oh. Sorry about my hair. I know I cannot go back on all that I've said. If you met it hanging, my hair was hairy, okay? So as I was saying, this is the reason why they said that they love Nigerian men. Now, someone else from another nationality shared with me why they love Nigerian men, and that's also the East African men. The very important fact that she mentioned to me that I listened to is the fact that Nigerian men are really really hard working Nigerian men they really know how to you know go out there and make it and with the, the force that they have she as a woman who's a go-getter she as a woman who is independent and loves to make her money loves to do this she would love a Nigerian man because a Nigerian man will compliment her rather than going for according to how she said it, a lazy man from their nationality. But I know that this doesn't mean that all the men from East Africa are, are lazy men, no. But this is exactly how she put it for me. She said, rather than being with a lazy man who doesn't want to work, who feels like, you know, I'd rather go with a man who's very hardworking. So that while he's hardworking and I'm hardworking, I would like to be a progress. Like, you see, you see how women actually feel about these things? They actually love men who are hardworking. A woman may not tell you this, but any woman loves a hardworking man. We women, we love hardworking men because it only tells one thing it tells that you can manage you can take care of us when the going gets tough you will go out there you will go all out to help you will go all out if it means you know becoming a bricklayer just to make money to come take care of your family a nigerian man would do it so you see why you need a hardworking man in your life you see Forget about the lazy elements everywhere. There are lazy elements everywhere. Even in East Africa, like this lady said, the only thing is, from what I noticed from what they were saying, like, you know when a nationality has 20% lazy element and 80% hardworking men, then they won't go about saying their men are lazy. Okay, just, it's just like the way they're saying Nigerian men are so hardworking. Not saying you may not see who's lazy, but <laughs> it's really hard. It's really hard because, if you're a Nigerian man and you're lazy, hunger will kill you. 
government does not provide no one provides you you have to provide for yourself if you don't do what is you know needed or necessary oh boy you will become a hungry man and in fact hunger will send you out to go and walk there is no other way about it so guys you know what i'm talking about so there is no way if just few men are lazy that they will keep saying this so i just bet that okay most of them are lazy that's why they talk about it but you will still see the hard working ones but in nigeria I can tell you that 90 to 95 percent of men are hardworking, if not 100 percent of them. Because honestly, believe me, you would, Nigeria doesn't give you a chance. Nigeria doesn't give you a chance to be lazy. If you're lazy, you will die of hunger. Do you want to die of hunger? <laughs> that is the problem of Nigeria. If you're lazy, lazy man, no food for lazy man. It's in Nigeria it started. No food for lazy man. That's where it lives, Nigeria. So. Even you see the hard workers when they are busy doing their their work, doing their even those in the in the what do they call it construction companies who have barrows who are pushing. Some of them will write no food for lazy men <laughs> on the barrow. So that when you see them pushing, you understand what they're up to. This is the Nigerian spirit that I love. I love my people. I love my people. No matter what happens, Nigerians will always care for themselves. No matter how bad our government is, Nigerians will always care for themselves. Nigerian men will go all out. So, this is just all I wanted to share with you. Why East African women love Nigerian men? They love Nigerian men because Nigerian men are hardworking, caring, or you know, industrious. And name it. And especially, they are very handsome. Yes, they said that they are very handsome. Are you? Hold on, hold on. Hold, just hold on. I see you. You're saying that's a lie. Did you just say that's a lie? No. You and I know that's not true. You and I know that's not true. Okay, now you said it. You know, you and I know that that's not true. The Nigerian men are handsome people. Mm -hmm. They are. They are handsome. Okay, not just Nigerian men. Nigerian women too. Mm. Check me out. You don't believe it? Check me out. Check me out. You don't believe it? <laughs> oh my god. You, you know this holiday mood is just making me go crazy. It's just making me go gaga. Honestly, this holiday mood is giving me good vibes. I think I don't love to work anymore. I guess I just want to start my own business. What do you think? See the spirit? See the zeal? But when walking, when I come here, hello guys, you welcome back to my channel. This is Miriam. Come on, Miriam. This is the Miriam from now on. This is the Miriam that you're going to be seeing. The new active Miriam. The Miriam who knows what it is to be water, waterly, <laughs> water, waterly happy. You Miriam who knows how to, you know. Okay, guys, let me not talk so much. So, without further ado, do have a lovely day. Do have a blessed day. Stay happy. Stay blessed. Then. Masalama. Meaning in Arabic. Bye bye.